Previously on Project Zomboid. We are at HitVids. Your one-stop shop for anything VHS tapes. We will eventually come back. We need to. It's a must. We don't have all the things. Unless we want to go run by the West Point one. Maybe. All about automatic gates. We do want that one. That one allow us to be able to... Alright guys, we are back with the TV. We have successfully stolen from that helpless family. Pissed. Air activity detected. Okay. Alright guys, this is it. It's helicopter time. Ah, here we go. Oh my lord, here they come. Anyway, I'll meet you at West Point. Uh, this truck's not gonna make it. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this van. You know what? Yeah, I think gun's the best way to go. Yeah, I think gun's the best way to go. Yeah, I forgot that full auto is kind of cheap. No! He broke the door! What a jackass! He didn't let me have any fun. Holy mo! Bro, new truck and also gas. Hell yeah. Oh, there we go. It was like literally at the ass end of it. Cool. So now we got a, our truck is now full of gas and we are ready to take on the road. Oh, look at Gigamart. You know what we'll do? No, this is what we'll do. We'll clear out. Anyway, so the Gigamart actually is a great place to look for paper clips and other things. Like you have all this. We're going to clear it out too while we do this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab a shovel and go ahead and drop all the rest of it. Alrighty. Ooh, purple light bulb. Bunch of other light bulbs. Yeah, we can take those too. Okay, yeah, I was right. There's no gun or there's no VHS store in West Point. I don't think there I, I thought there was, and then I remembered that the one I was thinking about is actually in Riverside. So we're going to go up to Louisville. We're probably not going to go to the VHS stores over there because that's just risky. A little bit too risky just for a couple tapes that we could just wait for. You know we will be right there, and I do... Okay, you know what? We'll go to one gun store that I know that's... Or not gun store, VHS store that's relatively close to the surface of the city, so we don't have to go too deep into to get to it. I'll see you in Louisville. All right, guys, so we done gooped. Uh, I left my sledgehammer back at the base. And unfortunately, if you want to get to the armory, we are going to need ourselves a sledgehammer. Uh, potato seed packets, cabbage seed packet. You get a lot of seeds in these things, too. Garden hoe, that's what we needed. And a tire pump. So how much would it be to make another one? We literally just need screws. We'll go and take wires. Wires are super important. It'll be good for like these really tall fencing that we need. Who knew that the downfall of this would be the fucking box of screws? There it is. All right, let's get out of here. We have a sledge. We gotta do this 
as smoothly as we can. We don't have any windows. Commence fast travel. Alrighty, so we're on the good side of the fence. This is where the armory is. Fortunately, we can't seem to go any further. And we do have an armory this time. The last time I played this, my armory was actually burned down. It was one of the selected burnt houses. So, fortunately, I didn't get a chance to loot it. That might have been in our save file. Or on our live stream world. Who knows? Go ahead and uh, take out any threats. Here's the armory. Okay. So in here will be probably much better loot. So we have 9 by 19, that one, and a 308 win. This value tech television here, that's got the VHS slot. So we're going to go ahead and load this up. You know what? Let's just carry it on us. Ooh. Surprised this vehicle's still going. You know what? I knock on wood. Luckily, my desk is made out of legit wood. <laughs> So anyway, if we just keep heading over here, there's that L-shaped green building over there. That's one of the VHS stores in Louisville. There's also a Gigamart just right down the road, like, a minute away. So we are right here. The Gigamart is right here. Super close. Cook show episode one. So we're done with cook show. We got all those. Woodcraft episode one, which means we just need two and three now. Woodcraft episode two, which means now we just need three. All right. So now we just need literally woodcraft episode three. It's mainly just a want. Oh, look, Dog Goblin 4. Why? It's only one <laughs> tape. Didn't have it. We got everything except for the third Woodcraft episode. Fuck yeah, get away from your zombies. Got ourselves an emergency vehicle. One with a nice little siren on top. Because we can actually, what we can do is we can go here and then... That's good for helicopters. That is very good if you're in you know, like a crowded area with a helicopter event. Episode three, episode three, episode three, episode three. Come on, Woodcraft episode three. Oh, look at that. Go Dog Goblin three. So we. We did get the rest of the Dog Goblin movies. Not in here, it doesn't exist. Damn it! <laughs> Bro. Which means it's probably in Riverside. There's only two VHS stores in the city. So which means the other one's gotta be in Riverside. God damn it. I'm not going over there today. Hell no. That's too far. So what level are we in carpentry now? We're level four. See, that's the nice part about like being able to carry all that wood and be able to make this. It's making leveling up super easy. Let's go ahead and eat some food here real quick. So anyway, to find a gas can, we either need to find a um, a shed or a garage. 
Either of those will have gas cans in them. If you find a fossil van, sometimes those will have them in the trunk. However, with filibusters enabled, it's kind of rare that you ever come across a uh, fossil oil van. Jeez, they're moving fast. Thank God for full auto. Damn, I even hit that one going over the barricade back there. A lot of good stuff in these things. So if you ever... Ooh. Okay, so these scrap electronics, these are actually really good. I would totally get yourself a, a bunch of those because when it comes time, you're going to need to repair your generators. Because if you don't, they'll blow up and destroy your entire base. They're like helpful, but they're also deadly. So make sure you always have yourself a bunch of scrap electronics so you can go ahead and fix your generator and get it back up to 100%. We're going to go hit up the richer houses of Maldra because they'll have garages, all of them will. And that's where I normally find. Damn, I just bounced off of it because I wasn't paying attention and just ran into that. Ooh, holy moly. All right, well, we're doing it. I think it's just right, oh, fuck. right down in here where my marker is. You know thing we can't handle? Alright, so medical supplies will be on the bottom floor here, over here, yeah. Oh, and if we find a first aid kit, we can actually, oh, you know what, the, the Gigamarts have those. We should try to hit up a Gigamart somewhere. Get ourselves a couple first aid kits and then we can use those to uh, hold some to-go medical supplies. That'd be perfect. Well, that's tragic. <laughs> uh, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and dippity do. All right, to get into the U store, you know what? Oh no, that. Okay, yeah, we're jumping. Ah, screw off, asshole! You can go all the way around the building and lose me. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to run. We're just, we're just going to keep running. <laughs> Easy way to lose zombies is to go into a house, close the door behind you, go right through the back door, and boom, they think you're in the house. Gas can. Oh, look at that. Two empty gas cans. Oh no! Run, bitch! Run, bitch! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, come on. Yes! Send me home! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, this was fun while it lasted. Come on, get over the fence. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have a key, you have a key? No, you don't. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was like, please don't be the only car in here without gas. <laughs> oh my lord, that, that was... This was a scary trip. <laughs> I never want to make a scary trip like this again. <laughs> But we're going to because, you know, that's just, it makes for an interesting game. Well, we have a gas can now. <laughs> got it in kind of a nearly tragic way, but, you know, we got it. 
I mean, we've gone up as far up to Louisville, and we went up to one of the VHS stores. There's another one right here if we wanted to go back ever. But we're going to go ahead and probably take a detour here and go towards Riverside, which is right here. Uh, we can check out our other base location, which is right here. And it's right next to a place called Electrofax Manufacturing, which is a really nice place to get some good construction loop. And then also there's a small town here. And then there's Rosewood over here, which I'm not totally positive what this one is. But anyway, yeah, honestly, we could head there because we might get a helicopter and a helicopter while you're driving is actually not bad. It's much better than a helicopter while you're sitting in one place. So let's go ahead and just get ourselves to sleep. Oh. All right, looks like we're going to end this episode with a helicopter event. We'll finish up the flooring in a different episode. Unfortunately, we You know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to use this time to just chill in our room. Alright, so now that it should be bright enough to be able to see. Damn, hiding from the helicopter actually did better work than not hiding from the helicopter. Yeah, the helicopter came, but no zombies came with it. I was expecting at least a little bit of a crowd. I guess there's someone. <laughs> We're not exactly alone. Now we are. <laughs> I kind of do just sit outside most of the time when a helicopter comes. I just don't want to do it there. So I guess we can just go ahead and finish this up then. Ah, we did actually attract a little bit of a crowd. Not much. So it looks like there are a couple zombies kind of popping up here and there. I don't know if they're still coming from the helicopter or if they've even... I don't know. I'll figure it out. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh no, did you... Ah! I, I had my vape in my hand. Please just be a... Yes! Just a laceration, guys. We didn't get bit. Maybe that was more maintenance. No, that one was carpentry. Holy moly, okay, we need to pull off a couple. Okay, yeah, we'll just leave that there for now. Our dude is super tired, so we're gonna go to go to bed. Um, this is actually really good for our carpentry skills because we're already level five. We can almost start making like the good like walls and whatnot. And once we can make the good walls, I'll connect our house to the armory. But not until because I'm not trying to waste. Uh, or I'm not trying to have some shitty wood looking thing up there. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and smoke ourselves a cigarette, and then we're going to go to sleep. Yeah, we're going to have to go and grab more nails. Damn. Thought we would have had enough. 
Well, I guess, um, I guess we can just do this one last part. All right. So whatever. Oh, do you see? Oh, okay. Here, here we are. Here we are. Okay. So do you see the metal barrels here? Do you see how they're full of water now because of that rainstorm? We can boil that water and turn it into usable water when our water shuts off. And that should be soon. Our broadcasts are already off. We're almost a month in. So our electricity should be off here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn on this generator and see how our lights look. Would be better if it had an actual uh, range, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and check. Yeah, it looks like we still have power, so that, that's good. That's a good thing. All right, so. Lowering time. All right, guys, so that's probably going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.